I don't know if this stuff is archived, <clears throat> but if it is, hello, I'm John, otherwise known as Fresco Baldi, and this is the unofficial EP release party. I've been uh, working all day, <laughs> not on music, at a restaurant. <clears throat> But I'm just here, you know, it's uh, the wee hours of the morning. I want to see if you guys are up and uh, yeah, I can, I can ask you to listen to the EP <laughs> if you're looking for tunes, tracks, all those uh, fancy things that we play on our devices. But I'm really excited about this record. Uh, it's, it's actually a re-release, came out in 2020 originally, but I soon realized that uh, the fidelity of it needed to be improved. So yeah, this is uh, my record. It's called Duality. It's for me, it's about being in Lexington and then thinking an awful lot about traveling uh, to Iceland <laughs> in particular. And so I finished up these songs as I started learning Icelandic as a hobby. I'm not great at it, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these tunes are pretty cool. A little electronic songs with, uh, of course, synthesizers, and there's some uh, guitars snuck in there, at least for one song, I think. Uh, yeah. I have a link to my website in the freaking bio and all that good stuff. I have a picture here. Um, why is it small now? <laughs> One second. So my friend uh, Hannah from the Philippines made this wonderful bit of artwork. You can actually follow her on Instagram of all places. Fancy that. And uh, Hey, Essity. Yeah, so this is my little unofficial release party <laughs> for uh, this EP that I put out called Duality. I'm just showing off the artwork. Uh, I met Hannah on Fiverr, and we we sort of hit it off, and she helped me out with a, a single, some artwork for that, and then for this record, I uh, just needed that additional bit to make it look pretty. <laughs> so, but yeah, my uh, website is uh, Fresco LFO, and uh, yeah, you can find my Spotify there. I, I'm thinking about paying, um, what is it, CD Baby for that Here Now smart link, just so that people can listen to it in more places than uh, Spotify. <laughs> but um, it's, it's everywhere anyway. It's called Duality. Uh, what's up, happy release party? Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate it. I actually posted in the uh, Julian Discord. It's in self-promotion. You can find it there for the Spotify link. But uh, my website is uh, fresco, F-R-E-S-C-O-L-F-O. And uh, there's more than one little place you can click to find my Spotify there, so. And also, SD, congrats on your recent release. Uh, I've, I've listened to your stuff on the feedback streams and it sounds really great. <laughs> so you are improving in strides, putting out some great material, so, uh, yeah. I like your uh, true progressive house sound. It's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, the first, well, I can't say the first, but random album title. I can't live without that record. <laughs> I'm sure you know that one. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, and this record, I, I think some of my first Julian submissions, uh, I sent these songs to him and he helped, he helped me out quite a bit with that. I, I had to go in and take down the level of the kick drums and things because as I was saying before, this is a re-release and it was too boomy. It was very sad because I like these songs a lot. And so I had to take the time, I had to kind of live with it and I, I realized that they needed to be improved, <laughs> so I'm so happy to have these finished and so now I can focus on something else. I have different plans, not, not really uh, an extended play. I'm not going to go head first into another EP, I don't think, but I'm just trying to get my music in the right places. So 
And of course, like uh, I'm just going to spend this whole time talking about the Julian Gray thing, but uh, that's a very great place to be. You guys are really awesome to share music with. And also to hear your guys' music is very amazing too. And uh, we're all just this like little, well, you know about it, <laughs> little community. So it works out. And yeah, and otherwise I think I'd like to make more uh, YouTube videos this year. That's the big thing. I just moved. Um, I'm in this historical house, this old house in downtown Lexington, close to downtown. And this uh, room kind of sounds like the, the cabin of an airliner. It's not, <laughs> it's not the quietest room. And so I'm going to have to do some sort of treatment or something. Uh, I have this big like acoustic uh, divider thing. I'm hoping that it kind of sucks some of the reflections out of this room. So, but yeah, that's super cool. I hope you uh, enjoy the EP. My personal favorite might be the the last song on it, the Glacier song. A little bit left field, sort of soundtracky. And uh, but yeah, I, I think every song sort of, as I was learning about like Icelandic culture and things. Every song kind of has its like physical place that I think of, like uh, Cora Plaster takes me to the, the Black Sand Beach, I think it is, in uh, Vik, or Vik, V-I-K is the name of the town. And uh, I think it's because I used visuals showcasing that beach for that little bit, uh, for that song before. Words. <laughs> And All For You is about an old friend of mine. And then Alteration Tips is just sort of this cheeky, funny song. <laughs> it's really hard to find the downbeat. I, uh, of course, I wrote the song and I threw it into record box and I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't set the hot cues. <laughs> it was just like, I didn't know where the first section started. So, so I like it. It's this funny little I guess a breakbeat. I don't think it's a breakbeat. It's sort of like MIDI dictated drums, um, but it's kind of a funny song. And in the title, Duality, each song kind of has two primary sections. And uh, of course, today is like the 2nd of February, 2022. I thought it'd be funny. I waited a long time just so I could release it today <laughs> because haha, duality, things in twos. It's funny. To me, anyways. But yeah, since this is like... Follow um, Hannah. Uh, I think her handle on Instagram is Hannah GRC, if I'm not, mis not mistaken here. H-A-N-N-A-H-G-R-C. Yeah, woo. Release party. <laughs> First ever Instagram live, why not? We're out here uh, plugging songs, mixtapes. I would say that this mixtape is fire, but it's mostly about ice. So <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this mixtape is uh, definitely ice. So it works out. I wonder. I'm just going to keep talking like a lunatic and see if anybody else pops it, pops into the, the feed. It's amazing that I figured out how to work this, to be honest with you. It's sort of a uh, one click, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, four songs, a little over 10 minutes. I think that's pretty modest. <laughs> for. <laughs> for two years of work. <laughs> Got 10 whole minutes. Eight years of uh, electronic music learning, self-learning, self as, as we all do these days. Yo, this beat is icy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was the intention, to make it as icy as possible. Make it cold. Cold yet passionate, you know. It is what it is. Thank you very much. You're probably already halfway done with it. <laughs> so it goes by pretty quick, I'd say. But I think it's, it has sort of like a cohesive idea to it. 
And uh, one thing that I think is pretty cool about this is these are, you might notice like carryover in way of the, the sounds I was using. Like just the basic triangle lead I think is in every song and a nice little trade-off between like MIDI drums and sample drums. Uh, Core Plaster was this really funny breakbeat. The drums are audio but I have to put like a dozen plugins on it just to like make it not so aggressive as it was or harsh. I had to tame it in like a hundred different ways. And uh, Chord Plaster is kind of close to my heart just because of how the uh, the phrasing like turns around. I think it's like a three bar phrase. And uh, there was this Dead Mouse song called 71C or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to think of... It took the, the pretty bits of the, the song Imaginary Friends, but he did like this progressive house thing with it instead. And uh, the phrasing kind of turned around in that song too. So I think that song really inspired the, um, the way that choral plaster turned out. And it's just, you know, kind of keeps you on your toes. So. And uh, All For You has a bunch of funny uh, guitar work on it. So I like that one just for that reason. It was like days of tracking guitars. <laughs> There's another song that I have that um, I'm not sure I'm going to put it yet, but uh, it's a house song called East Iceland and I was really inspired by Matt Lang and his use of guitars there in like a progressive house context. So I might put that song in like uh, an audio sync database or something so people can find it <laughs> instead of it sitting on my hard drive for uh, forever. But yeah, I hope uh, I hope you found some some time to write more music, Essie. <clears throat> I'm I'm looking for the same, trying to uh, appease myself and get this room in shape. Now, given I just moved into it, so Oof, got the the jitters from Instagram uh, Instagram Live. <laughs> I'm okay on Twitch, but usually I'm like occupied and I'm working like in the DAW or something. This time I'm just talking. <laughs> I had more planned, but I've been uh, on the move all day, so I'm very pleased to be here uh, in, in light of my running around. <laughs> so, Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> oh boy. Let's stay live for a little bit longer here and um, see if anybody else pops in. Yeah, so I like uh, I like Glacier Song the most. It's actually the most recent production. I lost the original project file. Kind of had to redo it, and um, I found some things to improve upon. Like the the music box wasn't a thing for the original release of the EP, but I think it kind of made the the song this time around. It's also very uh, minimalistic. It's something that I think of like a, a small chamber ensemble performing or something as opposed to like a hard-hitting uh, EDM thing. <clears throat> I guess I wanted it to be like uh, walking on a glacier or something. And I was listening to um, some Boards of Canada around the time that I finished this new version of it. And I think that a little bit of that mentality sort of seeped into it. At least I hope, because <laughs> they're pretty great. Great uh, elusive act, you know, with a great catalog of breakbeat songs. <laughs> I, f I finally found my little space of like... Um, breakbeat IBM, like uh, sort of the heart being in the UK. Hey man, I appreciate it. That means a lot. You are the first bit of feedback <laughs> and I'm very grateful. I'm happy that you enjoy it. 
I wonder if, uh, if anybody else has stumbled upon it. I kind of teased it a little bit, but this is my first time like trying to do it properly. I had maybe one little Instagram post and, uh, you know, half a dozen likes. <laughs> L live in large, as it were. I'm driving around my little uh, Honda CRV. <laughs> TMI. Yeah, I'm very glad that you enjoyed it. It was very cool. I hope that uh, I hope that at least one of those tracks uh, you like enough to play a few more times. <laughs> so. And it goes without saying, if you think anybody else you know might dig it, uh, if you shared it, that would mean the world. <laughs> I'm hoping that, uh, well, I don't really have anything for the next Julian stream. <laughs> so it might be a few months, but I'll certainly be sneaking around and uh, seeing what you guys are up to. I'm trying to find out, like, I'm trying to figure out the best way to plug this on um, the uh, Gradient Discord without being obnoxious, but, you know, <laughs> it's all right. Sweet. That's awesome, SD. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy because um, when I started making this music, gosh, it was already, like, 2014, that long ago, and wasn't sure like if I could find the right community around this stuff. But after a couple of years, um, feedback live stream, I've said that about half a dozen times, but just want to reiterate that I'm very grateful that I can share this music with you guys. And I wasn't sure back then, you know, what kind of community I'd stumble upon. As I was, uh, I started making it, I was in Eastern Kentucky. <laughs> and so there's just, if you can believe it, there's not a lot of house clubs in Moorhead, Kentucky. <laughs> so just me with my uh, fancy polo shirts and really big black uh, glasses, looking like uh, dollar store Skrillex and making this music. So but I think I finally found a groove, you know, just people people exist who I can share it with. And I kind of have a, a better idea of like the kind of music I want to make too. Uh, I will say next time I might try to have more like um, live instruments, like maybe hire some people on Fiverr. <laughs> I really need some harp in my life. So we'll see how that turns out. I thought about composing for like different instruments like that and then having session musicians play it, and then I can maybe fill it out a little bit in the DAW, like with a bass synth or something, just to kind of make it a bit bigger, and if necessary. What? Might not need it. That's <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go until like uh, twelve forty, and might cut it there uh, unless somebody else pops in. So, but yeah, duality. What an EP. It's cool because like now I feel like I actually have proper music <laughs> that's been released. <laughs> There's another uh, EP on my. Spotify. I have sort of mixed feelings about it, but I'll keep that keep that to myself anyway. <laughs> the details. <clears throat> I made uh, <laughs> I made some stuffed peppers tonight. I, I think you you definitely want to know about this. It was um, a HelloFresh kit, and my God, that service loves lime. It's like a drizzle of lime juice on everything, and then everything has salt and pepper. It's like, well, no wonder it's so good. <laughs> you just season it to hell. Not sponsored by HelloFresh. 
Not yet, anyways. Wouldn't that be something? Breakbeat IDM music sponsored by Stuffed Peppers. I like it. <laughs> you gotta, gotta take care of yourself. You gotta eat right. I say that uh, s sleep is a whole ordeal for me too. I have to like have these silicone earplugs and it's so good. Oh, how we've deviated. <laughs> Thank you, SD. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of curious as to see like what shape the next bit takes because I have some like bigger, I don't know, maybe some more lofty ideas, uh, maybe get out of the DAW a little bit, but be very much the same. I think very much like reliance on the breakbeat and resampling drums and stuff. I don't think I'm going to shed that anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm going to might be moving at a snail's pace for a little bit, but hopefully there's like a a bit of uh, like a window period of inspiration, you know, where I can turn out turn out a lot of different songs. So well, I don't think we're gonna have anybody else. <laughs> I'll just uh, message people independently, privately. So, I've been John, otherwise known as Fresco Baldi. Thank you, SED, for stopping by and uh, celebrating with me in this impromptu release party. <laughs> it takes two. And yeah, thanks so much. I'm going to see if I can turn this off now. So, take care, and I'll see you, see you in stream sometime. That sweet feedback stream.